Hey y'all, it's Anime Game, and today I'm going to be live reacting to Mode Out Sushi Season 2, Episode 3. And I'm going to start this live reaction in 1, 0, go! Be simpler and going to be much cuter. Fellow dolls, it's time to get up for night hunting. Huh. Can I always like that cute saying. Brought to you by Godang Subs. Thank you, Godong Subs. You're awesome. All right, this is, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'm pumped up, oh. Last one, whew. The last episode really, really got to me. All right, let's see what we're gonna get. A minor should be accompanied by a parent when watching this animation. Kinda like that warning. Ah, the opening. All right. Da na 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 na. You know what? I I'd actually normally if these are at the start of the episodes, I would skip these. But I actually really love this opening, so I'm gonna see it again. Reincarnation and birth from the mist. Man, I seriously love this opening, especially with you wing. Wee Ying and um, Lan Zan hanging out like that. I always love seeing that. Always acting like bros. And I love the way the opening emphasizes their relationship at the start of the episode. Then you get some of the characters. Then you get some more of the characters from the present, pretty much emphasizing where the focus of this season is going to be. Because in season one, it's opening primarily focused on the characters from the past. So I like the contrast between this opening and Seasons 1's opening. And they're both got really, really beautiful, beautiful singers. Like, their voices are beautiful. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm also really curious to find out who that chick with the red robes is, though. She looks really, really cute. And I like that bit at the end when you see both of the, both of our two mains hanging out like that web of intrigue. Oh shit! The signal flare. I'm more worried for Wing Ying. All right, good, good, good. Oh shit! So Jing Cheng is <laughs> was nearby. Oh boy! <laughs> oh, run! <laughs> run, Wing Yang! Damn! <laughs> so. He barely thought of that. <laughs> Whoa! He's putting in the work! He's definitely come a long way from when we actually saw him uh, last time when he was alive, you know? Damn! How did he get that strong? That's what I'm wondering. Oh! Oh. Oh my. Oh snap. <laughs> oh my. Can already feel the tension. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. We don't want to see our man get whipped by Zidane. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! Shit! <laughs> Are we actually gonna 
see a fight between these two. Tin Lan Zan and Jing Chang. <laughs> Oh, okay, he's laughing at the absurdity of, the of it from his perspective. <laughs> Whew, our favorite troll got saved. I like that Jane Ching chonks like Jane Lien though, like a, like sort of like a dad though. Cool dynamic there. Aw, oh, that's hella sweet from Marlon Zahn. That's why we all love him. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, then I think, but I, we Ying and I had like chin similar positions when it comes to like I want to put my hand up a thing. He did it too. All right. Oh. Okay. Sounds pretty. Oh, so it must be some really powerful cultivator then. <clears throat> oh. Damn. Oh, my. Oh my. Luckily it's in their hands though. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. So could someone be obs- then, But who would be a- Hmm. Oh, shit. That's serious, then. Hmm. I gotta admit, those are some beautiful ass backgrounds. Oh snap! So they're already starting to suspect the person that Wei Ying, at least the person that he possessed the body of. That is not good. But in a way I like it, at the very least, it keeps us on our toes narratively. Because if we're too comfortable, then there's not going to be as much tension. So I do like that element. Bringing back the world building aspect of Modao Sushi. And the political angle, too, in a way. When I mean political, I mean the dynamics between portions of the clans and all that. Settlement that I really love about Modao Sushi, so I like that. <laughs> Could that be Win Yin? 
don't know, I just have a feeling. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Shit. For a sec, I thought it could have been because of the long hair. First of all, how was she able to trail both? Both of them! All things considered, Wing Yang is quite a servant of his surroundings, and so is Lan Zong. Oh, holy shit! Oh, could that be maybe a son or her son or something, her child? Good. Can I already eat too safe with crazy? Wait, why is that rune glowing? I mean, the scar glowing. Sword cut. So, Xing Chen. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Or splendor, huh? Falling leaf, frost, flower, sword cuts behind. Oh, you know he had some pretty cool hair too. Gotta say. Oh, yo, that is an elegant looking style. Oh. Oh! Oh my, how the plot thickens. <clears throat> well, where is all that resentful energy coming from? Jeez! Oh, from the... What the fuck?! Yo! Can these moves no, like, I'm serious. Whoa! <laughs> it's just the arm that's crazy. Oh, it's already escaping. Holy shit. Things just hit the fan. No, shit just hit the fan. If I were to... Want to have a more accurate statement than that? Oh, actually, I like that nice touch. Hmm. Oh. I guess. I actually like that statement. Kind of shows you the th mindset um, of Lan Zan Tzu and how it feels about demonic cultivation at this point. Because when he says a sword is just a weapon and depends on the decisions of the wielder, pretty much implying that he doesn't seem to have too much... No, it reinforces that he doesn't have too many negative thoughts about demonic cultivation and that his opinion of it is more based off of the wielder of the specific demonic cult nation. Because he could expand sword into also cultivation abilities. So I like that. Good scene there. Ah, <laughs> oh, Wee Ying. <laughs> he seems to have grasped a taste for pretty much showing the fuck out of boys. Because <laughs> it ain't just Jin Ling, too. It's also people from. Land Zan's plan that are also the boys that are getting fucking trolled too. I'm, I'm noticing a certain trend. Oh my. Hmm. Oh, 
Shin Clan. We have we haven't actually seen much about that clan in season one, so I'm curious. Because we've seen uh, pretty much almost every clan except for that one. Hmm. That's actually, oh, that's pretty smart. And who would have thought a compass could be this badass, too? Okay. Oh. Queen Yi. Hmm. Hmm. Good. I am glad they failed. Queen Borders, all right. Well, at the very least, it was working to a certain extent. What, are they gonna bathe or something? Wait, is this part of the episode or is it a commercial? Yo. Oh, uh, is that? Fuck it. I like this. <laughs> you know, I'd probably buy it for that price. I'd probably buy it for like double or triple the price. Are we still in commercial mode? <laughs> I like how he says that with pride too. that shit up. Feed him, eat a dog does. You know what? I can believe that. I can honestly, earnestly believe that. Mmm. Ching. Oh. He's like doing the opposite. Whenever a character system going in there, the main characters always want to go. So that shit ain't gonna work. And I'm in a break. They don't want to write from nothing. In the incline. Oh. I'm gonna miss. Oh. Oh my.
Yeah, he does look way too calm. Oh, the bird. So that's what we see in the opening then. That actually explains a lot. <clears throat> Come on, Jin Ling, it's good for your cardio, boy. Who knows? Maybe if he exercises enough, maybe instead of lasting against a minute against Wee, he'll probably last two minutes instead. Any sparring session. You know, damn, those fragments are hella pretty. <laughs> Let's go steeper than that. So, was Wee Ying almost killed by wolves then as a kid? Oh, okay, I guess it does make sense. Oh. Yo, I didn't see the episode beforehand, y'all. I just made a really, really lucky guess. But I'm kind of happy it was right, though. Aww. Huey Wee Ying is precious. <laughs> Uh, but who's gonna save him, though? Or is it Jin Cheng's dad that saves him, or, um... Who specifically? Oh! <gasps> Yo, it was his dad! Yo, okay, like I said, I didn't watch the episode beforehand. I just happened to be, again, lucky a second time. But you know what? I love this. Only makes his death even more sadder. His death in episode 11. But you know, I like that moment. You can see Wee Ying and Lan Zan bonded a bit more there. Whoa! No, they can't just end like that! Well, to see the Nyan clan leader. I'm assuming that's a Nyan clan leader. Oh, come on! Do they just like to fucking slap our emotions as if they were nothing? Do they? Fuck! This is so painful. But I love it though. I love this pain. This is good pain, y'all. This is the type of pain I don't mind suffering every single week. Okay, y'all? I'm getting used to it. I'm so getting used to this pain. <laughs> Okay, this episode was amazing. They booked! It's advertising here! They actually made it part of the damn episode! I'm like, what the fuck? What is this? This is awesome! Because I was going to rate this episode a 9 out of 10, but the advertisement... I'm going to rate this a 10 out of 10! What the fuck? That was the best transition to a commercial I've ever seen in my life! What the fuck? That was awesome! So, aside from every other thing we got, like the Wee Yang and Lanzan bonding, the advertisement, transition game, and then seeing Wee Ying as a boy, like all those elements combined for a 10 of 10 episode to me. Come to the Manhua channels, read the grammar comment. Oh, I didn't get to read the whole thing. I wanted to read the whole thing, though. You know, okay. I guess it's over. So, yeah, that was, wow. The best episode of Mount Be <gasps> Sushi Season 2 by far. And I thought the first two episodes were strong. I loved it. Because, for one, we get to see a lot of the emotional factor. Like, we got to see how much... Jian Chang really resents Wen Ying, so uh, that was awesome, and it makes me quite curious about the past too, because it makes me wonder what the hell happened to make him hate Wen Ying. Oh, then again, I guess I, I guess I could kind of venture why, because I guess Wen Ying in his ghost general form is a lot stronger physically, and I guess Jian Chang must have resentment towards people in the Wen Clan too, because well, yeah, we saw in season one, most of their clan. Got most of the Jing, no, pretty much almost everyone in Jing Ching's clan got slaughtered in season one and episodes 10, 11. We saw most of them pretty much fucking destroyed, so I, I guess I guess it makes sense why he would have resentment towards Wing Yang. Probably just because we all know Wing Yang is a good person, but when people are like ravaged with revenge, 
they don't see things rationally, so it's probably that's why I'm assuming. I mean, there's probably more. Like, I haven't read the novels yet, but that's my assumption. So, overall, great stuff. And additionally, who would have thought they would turn a um, seeming comedic scene with Wing Yang being scared of dogs, but then actually make it into an emotional sequence when we see why he was scared of dogs, because Wolves almost killed him until he was saved by Jiang Qing's father. Now we really, really have a grasp. And that is amazing how they can transition something comedic into something extremely serious into like a really great sequence. And it also, not just that, it also makes the bond that Wing Ying had with Jane Cheng's father a bit stronger too. That actually puts into context a lot of the sequences in season one when Madame Yu was saying that you treat Wing Ying more like a son than Jane Cheng himself in a way. So that's why this episode was impressive from a story standpoint. Let's bring it back to season one, and wow, it's just amazing writing right here. This is how you do comedy, and, and at the same time make someone take it seriously. So, writing was amazing, character bonding between Wing Yang and Lan Zan, so character standpoint was great, animation and art were beautiful, voice performances were amazing, and that's why this episode was a 10 out of 10 for me. It's like, cannot rate it. Anything less, y'all. So now, ways everyone, these are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on the episode in the comments below or, or my video. Rate the video, subscribe, comment, share it if y'all want to. You can even share in any video sharing platform, I don't mind. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Alright, I'm gonna get in safe day, everyone. Bye bye.